This video will show you how to hide your date of birth on Facebook. For privacy reasons and to prevent identity theft, it's a good idea to, at the very least, hide the year of your birth, if not your entire date of birth, on Facebook. I'm currently just in the main newsfeed section of Facebook. Up in the top right hand corner of the page is a button with your name on it that you select in order to edit your profile. Click on that button and it should take you to a screen that looks like this which gives all the information currently on your profile. Now click up the top here where it says edit profile. I'm in the basic information tab here and a little way down the page you'll see a section that says birthday. There's a couple of ways you can do this. Over the right hand side here, if you hover your mouse over the drop down arrow here, it will tell you the current visibility status of your date of birth. At the moment, mine is currently public which means that anyone can view my date of birth. If I click on the drop down arrow, I then have the ability to select a few options. For example, I can select friends so that only those on my friends list can see my date of birth, or if I want to hide it entirely, I would select only me so that no one other than myself can view it. You might want to allow your friends to see your date of birth so that your friends have no excuse for forgetting your birthday, so let's select friends for now. Even if you do allow your friends to see your birthday, I would highly recommend hiding the year of your birth. That way it can help to prevent identity theft and you can also hide your age. Over the left hand side here you can see that at the moment it is showing my full birthday in my profile. So to change that, you just need to click on the drop down arrow to the right of it and select show only month and day in my profile. You'll also notice that you have the option here not to show your birthday in your profile at all. Once you have selected the option that you want, you then need to click on Save Changes and a message should appear saying that your changes have been saved.